There were definitely two critical decisions that I made in my second rehab than I did the first one. The first rehab, I kind of, you know, trusted the people around me and just kind of went with the flow and didn't really kind of take control of my own rehab, which I think is one of the most important things to do is to take control of your, your recovery because it's your body, it's you're the one who's going to be playing again. The most important decision that I ever made was contacting Chris Gores. It's such an individualized process, something that I've learned, and every recovery is different. Every path to being back on the field and being back to who you are and even better than who you were is the most important aspect of understanding your recovery and your journey back to the field. And I think, I know that, that reaching out to Chris Gores the day that I did was the difference between re-tearing it and now feeling better than I did before I even had any ACL injuries. So when uh, I reached out to Jo and I learned a little bit about her and I saw how committed she was, that made it easy for me to make that same commitment. You know, I always tell my clients and I told Jo right from the beginning that this is really important to me. I'm very passionate about what I do and I'm going to take this very seriously, but I can never care about this more than you do. If we're ever at that level where I care more about your success than you care about your success, then we're done training. And that was never gonna be the case with Joe. She's really, really highly motivated. She wanted to do everything that, that she could do to make sure that she was going to get back onto that field, that she was gonna be performing at a high level, and that, that she wasn't gonna let this ACL injury, whether the first one or the second one, she wasn't gonna let that be the end of her story. Um, she wanted to overcome that. And, and that was something that made it easy for me to, to work with her because I, I love working with people like that. That's the most rewarding part of this job for me. One of the things that he really, that stood out to me was when he said, you can't build a pyramid on an awful surface. You can't build up all these things without having the correct fundamentals. And so we started on Finley Fields. I remember we started, I couldn't even lift myself up off the ground with my, with my glute muscles. Everything was so, so weak. And we literally had to break it down to ground level basics and then now we're able to build up to a lot more. Just for him to be able to break it down to such an elementary level and correct the things that were, what everyone told me was unfixable at one point in my life, that's what, what fascinates me the most.